Welcome to step 5 of the Getting Started with Zen Server video series. In this video, you'll be learning how to monitor your applications in Zen Server. We'll start by going to the Dashboard page under the Overview tab. As you can see, the Statistics Gallery at the top of the page is displaying monitoring data that was supplied with the demo app you deployed in the previous step. Clicking the tabs immediately above the charts, or the arrows on the right and left, takes you through the various dashboard metrics. You can analyze the data by zooming in or by filtering the data. This menu at the top filters the data according to time range. The latest critical events list beneath the gallery is displaying all the latest events that were triggered by your application, sorted by severity. I'm going to select the PHP error event. What I get is an expanded view of the event, displaying additional monitoring details. On the right, I'm going to click More Details. The Event Details page is displayed, containing all the available information related to the event. At the bottom of this page, we have Zen Studio Diagnostic Tools that allow you to integrate with Zen Studio for debugging and troubleshooting. In the Summary area at the top of the page, I'm going to click the PHP error rule. What we're looking at now is the actual rule configuration page. On this page you define the parameters triggering the event and the actions to be performed by Zen Server in case the event is triggered. In this case the rule has two severity levels defined, each specifying the PHP functions triggering an event and each set to trigger a code trace in case the event is triggered. I want to set a new threshold for this event. So I'm going to select the Notice Severity and then click this Edit button. I'm going to then select the PHP errors I want monitored and then click Close. For each severity, you can decide which action you'd like Zen Server to perform when the event is triggered. Send an email, perform a code trace or call a URL to execute a customized action. Once you're done, click Save and restart Zen Server to apply the changes. Well done, you've successfully created your own monitoring rule. In the next video in the series, you'll learn what to do once an event is indeed triggered to troubleshoot the event.